The word typhoon comes from Chinese, Dai Feng, great wind, and ferocious hurricane force winds blow around the eye of a typhoon, making it hard to walk, hard to even stand up. And typhoon winds bring danger. This is no time to be outside. If the eye passes over you, it may be calm, perhaps for several hours. The calm is deceptive, as residents of a Chinese town discovered during Typhoon Uto. The eye wall winds return, perhaps even more powerful and from a different direction. Uto was not a powerful typhoon, but still filled the air with debris. Raging typhoons bring sudden, brutal gusts. So if a typhoon threatens and the Weather Bureau warns, remember, you might run from water, but you have to hide from wind. Keep yourself and your family safe. Along with powerful winds, typhoons can bring mighty rains. Water may be forced into buildings. There can be tremendous downpours, especially in mountainous areas. Normally quiet streams and rivers can become raging torrents. In 2009, Typhoon Morocot brought up to three meters of rain to a mountainous region, with devastating results. Landslides are other hazards of heavy rains. They can be sudden, fast and deadly. So if forecasters warn of heavy rain or landslides, try and shelter somewhere safe until the storm has passed. When typhoons approach, attention may focus on their violent winds, but they bring other dangers, like waves and swells that may travel hundreds of kilometers, retaining deadly power. Typhoons and tropical storms can create immense waves. They might be spectacular to watch and exciting to photograph. Maybe waves seem entertaining, even harmless. But as typhoons approach, even tranquil harbors can be transformed by ferocious seas, creating life-threatening situations. Just one cubic meter of water weighs a ton. So while you may watch huge waves, keep away. Don't let waves get you. And with typhoons, remember, run from the water, hide from the wind, and keep away from killer waves. Typhoons look beautiful from space, but bring danger, like mighty waves, violent winds, and torrential rain. And sometimes typhoons bring the greatest threat of all, storm surge. Typhoons accompanied by storm surge have taken huge tolls of human life. With low air pressure, the sea level rises below a typhoon, but the main surge comes from winds pushing the water inshore. Like tsunamis, surges build in shallow waters. Sometimes the rising waters are funneled into narrow bays. They may rush across low land with astonishing, deadly speed. No one knows true death tolls. Many people are simply missing, lost forever. Super Typhoon Haiyan was known as Yolanda in the Philippines and it devastated the south of the country on the 8th of November 2013. The wildest winds arrived suddenly, driving the water onwards in a tsunami-like surge that was deadly to many in its path. At Tacloban, the sea was pushed five meters or more above normal levels. There were frantic rescues. As the winds died away, there were scenes of devastation. 
Many houses have been swept away, the debris lining the streets. Among the debris were the bodies of victims of Haiyan. Nearby areas were also in ruins, as Haiyan and its storm surge left a swathe of destruction across the southern Philippines. Even stronger buildings have been badly damaged. Though storm surges are still hard to predict, typhoons no longer arrive without warning. Experts in weather bureaus monitor them, predict their paths, issue warnings including whether storm surge appears likely. Usually with typhoons you stay in shelter, maybe stay at home, barricading the windows. But if storm surge is possible where you live, listen to official warnings. And if you're advised to evacuate, leave. Keep yourself and your family safe.